Hi, I'm Kip from KipHakes.tv and what have we got for you today? This is going to be interesting. And I don't even mean that sarcastically. Today I'm looking at the Amazon Echo Auto. This is going to bring Amazon Alexa into your car. And I thought what I would do is I would uh, unbox it and then go into my car and set it up. Now I think I'm going to go into my car tomorrow and set it up because it's roasting outside and it's going to be a bit cooler tomorrow and rather than sit and getting sweaty in my car and film I just thought I'll do the unboxing now and then show you it being set up tomorrow so yeah we're going to unbox the Amazon Echo Auto and uh, have a little look to see what we've got let's do it let's unbox it okay so we've got this little tab thing here and just ooh. Very satisfying that. Okay. Oh, I do love getting new shiny. Now I don't know masses about this, so um, I thought that's quite good really because I like learning with you. So what's in the box? What have we got? Well, we have got this, which is the vent mount for it. It mounts. You can mount it in an air vent by default. I think it's got some sort of sticky pad there. I'm not going to peel that off. So yeah, it goes in air vents and basically they on the Amazon page for this, they actually list the sort of type of air vents that it's compatible with. If I'm completely honest with you, I don't know entirely if it's compatible with my car and we'll find out tomorrow in the car and I'll explain then. But yeah, that is the mounting option. I mean, basically, I think you can mount it onto anything so long as it's sort of roughly in the center console. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to matter too much where it goes, so long as it can hear you. Um, so yeah, oh, hello, what's this? Just fell out. Okay, so we've got a cigarette lighter adapter to power it. Um, so tell me, so it is quite a high powered one. It's a five volt at 3.6 amps, so that will do fast charging on your phone, I would imagine. No, when it's not in your car, you can, uh, well, Anyway, right, so yeah, so it's got two it's got two USB chargers on the front of it, which is good. So that is that. What is this? Aha. So here, oh right, I see. Oh, okay. Right. So this is a magnetic shelf, and this is a cable tidy. As I say, I'm learning stuff with you guys. So that's quite good. Okay, and that is the bit that clips into the air vent. Right, okay. So yeah, this is just basically a kind of instruction-y book. Um, some things to try with Alexa. And what else do we have? Uh, it's just, just sort of like a, yeah, just sort of safety precautions brochure. <gasps> bam, 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 this is the exciting bit. Okay, so this must be, well, this is a USB cable. Oh no, oh, that's so disappointing. It's got a micro USB connector. What about USB-C? That is the future. Doesn't matter which way around it goes. Now we got this faffy micro USB connector. Oh, I hate those. That's annoying. So yeah, that's uh, just a USB cable. I'm not going to unravel it, but I'd say that's probably about a meter. So what do we have here? Aha, uh -huh, okay. So this is an auxiliary cable. So if you want to connect your Echo Auto into the car's auxiliary socket, that is the cable to do it with lovely now the the unit itself is bluetooth so if you've got a compatible bluetooth um, unit in your car it will work there are some exceptions which are listed on the amazon product page which will tell you which cars it's not compatible with um there's there's, there's a handful i'd say there's quite a handful um but yeah have a look on the product page the link for the product is in the video description and uh, that will tell you exactly what head units it won't work with but mine isn't listed, so we're good. Oh, and that is it. This is this is it. This is the Amazon Echo Auto. It's quite diddy, isn't it? Very diddy. I think there's eight microphones. This is just for clearly listening and um, connecting to the internet. I'm guessing it tethers through your phone's data connection. It must do. We'll look at that tomorrow or later on in the video for you about how it all works. Now let's just get it out of this bag. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So I guess the magnetic mount sits in there and that's that's just it. So there's two buttons on the top here. You've got the privacy button which basically shuts the microphones off 
Um, some people are very, very scared about these things listening. So you can press that and boom, that turns the microphone off. Um, so my Alexa device that's in front of me, the Echo Dot, has got the microphone switched off at the moment because I keep setting it off by saying Alexa. But um, so that's a similar kind of deal. You press this and it turns the microphone off. Now this is a uh, this is basically the wake command button. So that is essentially the same as saying Alexa but you just press the button and it's listening. I mean, obviously you shouldn't be playing with it while you're driving. So yeah, that is that is a unit really. On the side there, we've got the auxiliary output and we've got the uh, micro USB connector. So yeah, that's quite a, quite a cute little device. It's smaller than I thought. I've heard that before. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, it's smaller than I thought, but it's not too bad. I, I assume these are the holes for the eight microphones now it's designed to work in the car uh, so sort of with the kind of noise of a car with the air conditioning on I don't have a convertible so I can't tell you how well it works with the roof down but yeah I'm looking forward to giving it a try so basically this will act as any normal Alexa would but you've got added bonuses of being able to um, ask it to navigate to places and I believe that it will fire up your navigational app of choice so you could go Alexa navigate me to mum's house and there we go and also you can make phone calls through it as well which is really handy so basically Dougie <laughs> if you use your phone normally through the um, car's Bluetooth you probably have to disconnect it and then connect this and I think everything goes through this but if I'm completely honest with you I'm not entirely sure I'm gonna it's gonna be interesting to find out how it all works but yeah we'll we'll go through that later in the video it's interesting here that the input is five volts um, I can't Dougie, Dougie Dougie's just licking himself in the background of the shot that's cute yeah so it does say the input is five volts at a maximum of one amp so uh, yeah this isn't this isn't all that power hungry so it's got it's got a uh, usb charger for your cigarette lighter that that will whack out a fair bit of power but this doesn't require all that much power so in theory so in theory um if your car has got a usb socket in it which a lot of more modern cars do they don't tend to whack out uh much in the way of ampage so i reckon if you didn't want to use the cigarette lighter and your car's got a usb connector already you could plug it into there quite happily and that will power it but yeah let's um oh look there you go let me show you let me show you that under there there we go it's quite cool i'm not i'm, I'm i don't really like vent mounted things like you can get vent mounted phone holders and i've never really been a massive fan of them Sometimes I run the risk of breaking the vents and I don't know, you don't really want your vents blocked. But I think the problem is going to be in my car, the vents are below the screen and um, it might cover up the screen. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm intrigued to try that. I like that it's got a cute little face to it. Hello. Hello. I'm your Echo Auto. I'm quite impressed. It's very simple. It's very uh, straightforward. It's very small and hopefully it works. I assume this bit of the front here is uh, sort of LED. They've all got LEDs on the normal units to sort of show like, for example, mine's red at the moment because uh, it's not, it's, it's listening. So yeah, that is the Amazon Echo Auto and um, I'm looking forward to giving it a go in the car. So yeah, I guess what we'll do now is we'll just cut to tomorrow and uh, we'll go and set it up in my car. So now it's the following day, I'm in my car and I thought I'd show you how you set up the Echo Auto in real time, sort of. So uh, there it is. And uh, here is the uh, air vent mount. I'm still not convinced if this is gonna mount successfully in my car. So uh, I've got the secondary camera set up and we can show you it. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will all work. Right. So it's got these uh, little prongs that go into the air vent. So I think possibly it'll go like this. That's oh, a bit tight. It's very tight. I mean, I guess you want it tight. There we go. Right, see that does impede my screen slightly. So I'm not convinced if that's going to stay there. 
but we'll see. Right, so we've got the cable here. I will just plug this into the... Well, that is annoying. I've picked up the wrong cable. No! That is typical because I've got all the USB-C cables knocking about in the car, but I don't have your bog standard micro USB cable. Damn you for not using micro USB. But um, yeah, so, well for now, that can uh, just sit on there. Relatively sturdy. Yeah, I guess bear with me while I go and get the uh, proper USB cable for it. Wait a second. So uh, now I've got the cable, we can plug it in and uh, that will be fine and dandy. So let's plug it in. And this bit of the front here is uh, for keeping cables tidy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna see if I can get a different mount for it. You can buy dash mounts for it, but they seem to come from, oh, hello. Oh, it's waking up. Hello, you... hello, bonjour, <laughs> Yeah, you can buy dash mounts for it, but they all come from America at the moment, so uh, I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll probably order one in due course. Yeah, I guess we should get up my phone and uh, show you what's going on on the screen so we can actually set this up. Right, let's go into the Alexa app. Um, there we go. Okay. And device. Uh, Amazon Echo. And we're looking for an Echo Auto. Uh, I'm not driving. Definitely not driving, you can see that. Okay, yes, I've done that. So it's just doing a little doo -doo 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 -doo. Wait for the sweeping orange light. It doesn't have a sweeping orange light. That's not good. See, don't see your device. Right, hold down the action buttons to put the device into setup mode, okay. Do that, eight seconds I've got to do this for. Hang on, hold the phone. Maybe because I'm, maybe because I'm plugged into the car's USB because I haven't turned the ignition over, it might not have, uh, might not have got power. There we go. That's better. Right, are we going to now get the orange Hello. light? Hello, bonjour, ciao, hola. Let's get rolling. Let's get Everything rolling. Safely do so. Go to your Alexa app right. and add a new device. There we go, it's seen it now, it's found it. That's good, right. Oh, let's turn the radio down and on that blasting out at you. Yes, let's set up my Echo Auto. Uh, can your car connect to your phone with Bluetooth to play music? Yes, it can. Connect your smartphone to your car stereo using... Okay, done that. Set your car's input to Bluetooth. Will do. Okay. Oh. It's got separate audio. Right, okay. Continue. Playing a sound test. Oh, I was trying to play my music. Right, I can hear the sound. Your device is. Oh. My device is what? Right, so we've got to allow communication, yep. Yep. Okay, this is interesting. So I figured that it would be using this as a sort of main thing and just sucking data from your phone, but it seems to be using the Alexa app. Alexa? How's the weather in London? In London, England, it's 27 degrees Celsius with mostly sunny skies. Today, you can expect some sun and thunderstorms, with a high of 29 degrees and a low of 14 degrees. Well, there we go. Okay, so, Alexa, navigate me to Colchester. 
getting directions to Colchester. Okay. Wow. I can't show you like all of that, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's just taken me to Colchester. Um, Alexa, call Kip Hakes. Did you mean Kip Hakes? Yes. Did you mean Kip Hakes? Yes. I mean that's that's not great, is it? Alexa, play BBC Radio One. Did you mean Rosie BBC Essex? <laughs> no. Sorry, who do you want to call? No one. I couldn't find a contact matching BBC Radio 1. To see your contacts, go to the Alexa app. Okay, I think she's a bit confused. Right, let's go back into the... Let's get rid of the navigation. Goodness me, this is fun. Right, okay. Play Radio 1. Here's Radio 1. BBC Sounds. There we go. Okay. Right. I think, I mean, I think that's quite good. I think I don't like the pause between you asking and like her responding. That seems a little bit slow. But yeah, I kind of, I think it works in principle. Um, let's try something else. Alexa, open Spotify. Yes, going back to what I was playing on Spotify. Okay, all right, well, it's kind of all right, isn't it? I mean, so that's not powered, that is just powered through my car's USB socket, which is good um, because I use my cigarette lighter A to charge my phone and B to charge Vicky's phone when she's in the car. So it's good that it plugs directly into the car. I wonder if it works differently if it's plugged in through the auxiliary in. Alexa, how's the weather looking today? It's 25 degrees Celsius with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect some sun and thunderstorms with a high of 29 degrees and a low of 14 degrees. Right, well there we go. I think it works better when it's plugged in through the auxiliary in. It just feels a bit snappier. Alexa, bark like a dog. Oh. Alexa, add cheddar cheese to my shopping list. Cheddar cheese added to your shopping list. Nice. That works. Okay, right. I think this needs a bit more of a play with the setup. I mean, I've got it working in a fashion. I would rather it work through Bluetooth though, but it just didn't seem as uh, instant. But it kind of does the job, sort of-ish. Um, yeah, I'll have to play with it a bit more. But yeah, it's it's a plug and play solution for pretty much all cars. And so it's, it's not gonna be perfect. It does kind of work. So, you know, I'm, I'm not saying don't get it. I think, I don't know. Maybe it's user over, maybe I'm stupid. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, there you go. So um, yeah, if you wanna buy one, there's a link to the product description below. I guess this is a brand new product, so uh, it might need a few more software updates and refinements, but it does it does the, what it says on the tin. I'm not sure about this uh, mounting solution. I think I need to mount it elsewhere, but I'll, uh, I'll maybe revisit that at another time. But. Anyway, I need to go for a drive now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.